This tutorial starts by looking at giant molecular structures and then moves on to fullerenes and nanotubes, looks at their properties and their uses. First, the specification says you must be able to explain why diamond and graphite have got giant molecular structures. And whenever we see a picture of diamond on the left or graphite on the right, the fact that they have giant molecular structures isn't obvious, but what we have to realize is that these go on for many millions of atoms in all directions. So giant molecular structures, like diamond and graphite, have got huge structures containing many, many millions or billions of atoms. Now looking at nanotubes and fullerenes, their properties and why they have these properties. Carbon nanotubes have got giant long structures made up of hexagons which are joined up as if you have a piece of chicken wire which has been joined up from side to side. These are very very strong because they're composed of strong covalent bonds and you probably know already that tubes have got a very very strong structure. They also conduct electricity for the same reason as graphite conducts electricity in that there are some free electrons uh, which are able to move up and down the um, bonds in the tube and that makes it suitable for some of its uses. Carbon nanotubes with their light structure and their incredible strength are used in tennis rackets. Babalat, who sponsor Nadal, are now using these carbon nanotubes to give strength to the tennis rackets and yet give the tennis racket uh, its lightness as well. Just for illustration, it says here that a one square millimeter uh, thickness of carbon fiber could, in theory, hold around six and a half tons of weight. So they are incredibly strong, much stronger than steel. The other property of nanotubes which makes them useful is their ability to conduct electricity and here is part of a, a news story about physicists creating a semiconductor using nanotubes. Semiconductors in such things as computers have traditionally been made from silicon but uh, nanotubes are now replacing them as they are many times uh, more efficient than silicon in the job that they do. So in summary, nanotubes are used in tennis rackets because they're very strong and they're also used as semiconductors in electrical circuits. Fullerenes are the simple molecular structural forms of graphite which form into a ball and this one here shows that uh, fullerene can be used as a cage to trap atoms or molecules inside. For this reason they can be used in drug delivery systems learn that phrase drug delivery systems because the ball um, can contain for example a radioactive atom the ball can also be coated with chemicals which will attract cancer cells so when these uh, buckyballs are injected into um, the bloodstream they will seek out and cling to cancerous cells where then the drug be it a radioactive dose or be it a chemical dose, can be delivered only to those cells and not affect the rest of the body. Here's a past paper question on this topic. Fullerenes can be joined together to make nanotubes. Nanotubes are used to reinforce graphite in tennis rackets. Write down one property of nanotubes. Well, we may as well write one down which is related to their use in tennis rackets, which is that uh, they are very strong. But we could also have written down they conduct electricity. Those are the two acceptable answers from the specification. You're also allowed to say that it can act as a catalyst because that's on the higher level specification. And they even allow that it can cage a molecule even though that's not on the specification at all. And here's another question about fullerenes. They can be made into nanotubes. Write down one use of nanotubes. Well, we'll use the one which uh, is on the specification, but a different one this time. We're going to say uh, they can be used as semiconductors. Remember that the two on the specification are that nanotubes are used as semiconductors because they conduct electricity, or they can be used uh, for strengthening tennis rackets because they're strong. 
However, there are other acceptable answers. They can be used as catalysts because that's on the higher level specification and they can also be used in drug delivery systems, uh, not even on the syllabus, but there we are, it's there on the acceptable answers.